Hey everybody, Coach Cabrini here, the Gangster Chef. I am always dishing up food and food for thought for your subconscious mind. So today, I am going to be making french fries with a turn up. Uh, that's right, it turns out that I'm going to turn up with some french fries with a turn up. So, I have heard from a couple of other chef friends of mine, I'm going to get their names for you and... and, and uh, see how my turn up french fries turns out and then I can tag them so what you need to do you guys is clean peel the skin off okay get you a good peeler right and peel that skin off y'all see that okay so you want it all clean and I'll be right back Okay, so you guys make sure that you have a very, very sharp knife. Now, you might not have a pretty knife like my knife, but you want to make sure you have a pretty knife, I mean pretty knife, a sharp knife because this is very dense, is very tough, and you want to make sure that you don't cut yourself. So, you want to cut the booty off, and then you want to cut the other head off, okay? Then, you want to take it and you want to slice it like that. Y'all see that? Then you want to slice it like that again. Y'all see that? Then you want to slice it like that again. Now, here's the thing. You want to make sure that we're making french fries, right? So we're going to do shoestring french fries, right? So if you can get them as thin as you can, not too thin. Y'all see that? All right. Okay, you guys, so look at this. This is the french fries. That's the french fry cut. Now, as you can see, this resembles a french fry, right? So when you're doing your cuts, you want to make sure they're not too thick because you don't really want a thick french fry. We're not doing a um, steak french fry, okay? So I'll be right back, and I'm going to get my water ready for boiling because we're going to parboil these turnips and I'll be right back okay guys so this is the water that I am boiling for the parboiled um, uh, turnips so what I like to do is season my water I always talk to you guys about seasoning the water so I'm adding sesame oil I'm putting salt right a couple of pinches of salt like a tablespoon of salt and y'all know I got to have my heat Yes, indeed, right? So, I have my sesame oil. Mix that up with my salt. And what's going to happen is the flavor of this is going to go into these turnips. Now, turnips have a very unique flavor. And they tend to take on the flavor of the water. So that's why you want to really season your water. Look at there. There they are. There's them french fries. So I'm going to do that for 10 minutes. I'm going to put a lid on it. I'm going to let them get, you know, just a little soft. So what that does is take a lot of the time away from the baking of the french fry. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, so now I have parboiled par my turnip. Now, let, look, y'all see it's limp, but when we put it in the oven, it's going to firm up a bit. And when I tell y'all, I don't know how much you like vegetables. This is so good and fabulous. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so remember, make sure when you are using your knife, y'all see my little beautiful knife here? You protect your fingers and be very careful because when you're using a very sharp knife, you don't want to chop your fingers off while you're trying to have a uh, turn up french fry. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. Now while I am waiting on my french fries to dry, I am making my bison burgers. Now listen, y'all see that right there? You put the butter at the bottom and you flip it over. What? Oh my lord. The flavor. So here's the thing. With bison, 
there's not a lot of flavor because it's a lean meat so because it's so lean I've added some pork to it some spicy pork and I'm making these sliders look at that put a little butter at the bottom y'all don't even understand and this is keto at its best now listen you keto people you better make sure you got your macros together I'm going to put a link to this and let you know what's in it I'll talk to you in a minute I'll be right back Hey everybody, so Coach Cabrini, I am back, Gangsta Chefing with Food for Thought. And tonight I did a bison burger, a buffalo burger. And because buffalo is very lean, I added some pork to it. I added grass-fed pork to the bison burger. I seasoned it up, I put it in a grill, and as I showed you guys earlier, I added a pad of butter, a little, just a sliver of butter at the bottom. Now, I it's a slider because this is keto, and I have it on a tomato, and I also made a mayonnaise sriracha sauce just so it could give it a little flavor. Now, my french fries. <laughs> well, you know, I'm working with my french fries. Now, my good old friend, uh, what is he called? Um, oh, my God. Highfalutin, the low carb highfalutin chef. He did a version, you guys check him out. He did three types of french fries. And the one that was his least favorite, you know, because I'm gangster, I gotta do the least favorite one. So his least favorite was the turnip. So now, I'm gonna taste the turnip for you guys. Remember, I showed you guys I boiled it. I um, seasoned it, I put it in a in an oven. I didn't tell you guys this, but I put it in an oven on broil, actually. And I put it in the oven on broil for 25 minutes. And this is the, oh my God. Listen here, highfalutin. This is kind of cute. I think when you had your problem, you did the steak fry. It's pretty nice as the um, as a shoestring fly, fry. Mmm. Mmm. Now, listen here, people. It's not a French fry, but it tastes very good. All right, now <clears throat> let me get to the burger because <clears throat> my time is running out. All right, I'm gonna bite the burger. <clears throat> I have pepper jack cheese on top. Y'all see that? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll be right back. <coughs> hey everybody, Coach Cabrini here, the Gangster Chef. I have finished the highfalutin chef's french fries. Now, highfalutin chef, I love you. I love watching your videos. I love the, the recipes that you are doing and then I'm doing the ones you're doing. And the one you did on the french fries, I decided to redo the one you hated the most, which is the turnip french fries. Now, I believe that you, well, just cut them too big like you talked about. They were steak fries instead of shoestring fries. So I did the shoestring fries and, mm, actually they're very good. Now they're, and actually, highfalutin chef, they're actually crispy. Mm, okay, now. Everybody, I did a bison burger today. Now, because bison meat, buffalo meat, is actually very lean, I added pork to it, okay? And then I put a sriracha, sriracha mayonnaise sauce and some pepper jack cheese on top with a tomato. Now, usually y'all know I love a beautiful plate, but I wanted you to somehow, well, anyway, it don't matter. It's gangster today, how about that? So let's just taste this bison burger. Y'all ready? Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh dear. This is quite lovely. Mmm. Woo! I got a kick in the background from the spicy pork. The bison is coming in together. It's very nice. It does not taste like a regular burger. It has another kind of flavor. 
that I can't put my finger on. Well, maybe I need might need to have another bite. Hold on. Mmm. 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 <clears throat> Very lovely. So I got the bison burger, you guys. No, be looking at my cheeks. I got the bison burger from Sprouts. It was on sale for $8.95. It's grass-fed. In keto, I only do grass-fed. I use grass-fed butters. My meats are grass-fed. My tomatoes are grass-fed. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and my turnip is grass-fed. Well, it comes from the ground. But, mm, this is really lovely. Very good if you're trying to have a keto fries and burger substitute. I love y'all. And guess what? Turn up for yourself. Turn up for yourself. I'm Coach Cabrini, the gangster chef. I'm always cooking up food and food for thought. If you eat right, if you think right, you can't help but feel right. I'll see y'all later.